In this video, I'm going to do two examples where we sketch the graph of the derivative given the graph of the function. So here we're given a graph of a function, and we'd like to, on a separate set of axes, sketch the graph of its derivative. Now we can't know the exact values, but we can get a very good approximation. And how can we do that? We're going to use the following facts. If we have a graph which is a line segment, then we know actually its exact value of the derivative. It's going to be the slope of that line segment. So in our example here, there are three line segments, so we will be able to calculate the exact value of their derivative. If the graph is going up as you go from left to right, the derivative should be positive. So in these parts of the graph where it's highlighted, I should have the graph of the derivative being positive, which means its graph is going to be above the x-axis. And on the other hand, if we're going down as we go from left to right, then the derivative will be negative. So the graph of the derivative is going to appear below the x-axis. If you have a smooth turnaround point, meaning you're going from increasing to decreasing or decreasing to increasing, the derivative there is going to be zero. On the other hand, if you have any kind of sharp corner, the derivative at that point is going to be undefined. And finally, if we have a horizontal, I meant to say vertical, let me fix that. It should say vertical tangent line. If you have a vertical tangent line, the deriv derivative will have a vertical asymptote at that point. All right, so, and in this graph, I don't have any vertical uh, tangent lines. All right, so let's use these properties and I'll have to make my correction again. to try to sketch it. So here on the first line segment, my slope here is going to be let me fix that. So here my slope is negative one. At this part, my slope is two. Here, my slope is zero. And so when I go from one uh, line semic to another, I have a sharp corner, so the derivative there will be undefined. So I'm going to have to start at negative one. And I'm going to have a line segment. At negative one. And then I'll have an open circle to indicate that the derivative is undefined there. Then between x equals negative four and x equals negative three, my slope is positive two. So my derivative jumps up to positive two. But then between negative three and negative two, uh, I have a horizontal line segment, so my slope is zero, so the derivative jumps down to zero. Now there's no sharp corner here, so there's no open circle at negative two, it just smoothly then starts to become positive. And then it becomes less positive and it's going to be back to zero at the origin or when x equals zero. So it's going to go up and then it's going to come back down to zero. And then it's going to be negative. 
is going to become very negative, then less negative, and more negative, and less negative. So it's going to be very negative, then less negative, more negative, then less negative. And so it's going to be look something like that graph right there. All right, so let's uh, make a quick correction here. We know that that's supposed to be vertical tangent line. So vertical. All right, so what do we have in this case? Um, here, we don't have any sharp corners. Uh, we don't have any line segments either, but we what we do have are some vertical tangent lines. So there's a vertical tangent line at x equals negative 4, x equals 0. And then I have one, two, three places where I have a turnaround point where the graph goes from increasing to decreasing or from decreasing to increasing. So I know at those turnaround points the derivative is going to be zero. All right, so let me start by coming in and sketching some. Oops. These are my asymptotes, vertical asymptotes at negative four and at x equals zero on the y-axis. All right, so the uh, graph is increasing here, so I must, and then it's gonna go down to zero. So I'm approaching this vertical asymptote, and then I cross through zero and x equals negative two, and then I keep going down along this asymptote at x equals zero. So on the positive side of the x-axis, the uh, graph is still going down, it's still negative. So I'm coming from negative infinity, and then I'm going to go up to zero when x equals two. And then the derivative is going to be positive for a bit and then come back down to zero. Oops, should be coming back down exactly, crossing through zero when x equals five, and then it stays negative until about x equals six. And so that's what the graph of the derivative would look like here. Make sure I have my arrows where I need the arrows. And so I hope you found this uh, short video useful uh, and uh, helps you understand how the graph of a function is connected to the graph of its derivative.